Hello, and thank you for joining today's Equinix demo. Today, we're going to take a look at using the Equinix Metal command line application to see alive. So the first thing we're going to do is just run the command metal. Assuming you get the same output as we see here, you've got the metal command installed. Now, if we run metal projects list, hopefully you'll see some output like this with your project. If not, that just means you need to authenticate the Metal CLI. So in order to use the Metal CLI, we have to provide some means of making sure that the requests we send, the Metal API knows who we are, what projects we have, what devices we have access to, and so forth. Now, you can do what I've done for today and export Metal off token with your API token. Now, don't worry about my token here. I guarantee you it has been deleted by the time you watch this video. Your other option, if you want something that will survive new shells, terminals, and even a reboot, is to use Metal in it. You can paste in your user token. You'll be asked to confirm a few small details, such as your organization and your default project IDs. This then persists your authentication details to the Metal.yaml file in your config directory. Now you can run as many metal commands as you wish. Now, if we want to provision a new device with the metal CLI, we need a few bits of information. First one being a metro. We need to know where we want to deploy the new server. Once we have a metro, we need to know the hardware configuration or the plan that we want to deploy. How much CPU and RAM do we need in our server? Lastly, it needs an operating system. We need to know whether we're spinning up Fedora, Ubuntu, or Talos. Those are just three of the options available on Equinix Metal. Once we have that information, we have everything that we need to deploy on your server. But we may wish to do something with that server too. So we're also going to take a look at providing user data, an initialization script that will be executed when the server is provisioned. So without further ado, Let's spin up our first metal device. So finding out the information we need, it's all pretty painless. First, we can run metal metros get. This provides a list of all of the metros and locations, the points of presence that Equinix has around the world. From this list, we can decide that we want to spin something up in London. The piece of information that you need to remember is the code on the third column. So for me, that's LD. Next, we need to know which device type or configuration, a plan, we want to provision. For that, we can do metal plan get. And now we have a list of all the plans available via Equinix Metal. So while this list is great, sometimes you need a little bit more information. For that, you can add the output toggle, where we can request this in a machine-readable format. Let's assume that we want JSON. When we send this request, we get back a JSON blob that includes all of the information about the plan types. This includes pricing, metro availability, GPUs, CPUs, memory, and much more. If you need to be able to script and automate your working with the Metal CLI, the JSON toggle is what you're going to need to be successful. So now that we have an idea of the Metro and the plan type that we want to use, we can use the Metal CLI to check available capacity. For that, we do Metal Capacity Check. And we're going to add a dash M for the London Metro. We then add the plan type that we want, and how many we need. Here, we can say that we're looking for a C3 medium and we want two. That should be capital P for plan. Now we get back a successful availability. If we try to provision two C3 mediums in the London Metro, this should be successful. Now, this availability check is true at the time I execute the command and not necessarily at the time that you provision the server. So you should always build in conditional checks to make sure you get what you need. 
So the last step before we can actually provision our server is to know which operating system we want to deploy. And just like that, we have a list. As you can tell from all of these metal commands, they are closely mapped to the RESTful API provided by Equinix Metal, meaning we just need to understand the resource type, the noun, and the verb that we wish to do, get, create, update, delete. It's just that simple. So let's finally create a server. So let's cat user data sh. Now, this user data script isn't going to win me any awards. We're keeping it nice and simple for the sake of this demo. But you can use whatever you need here, whether that be bootstrapping Ansible or SaltStack, or running a few commands that you need to start up that Kubernetes cluster. The choice is yours. Today, we're just going to use the Docker bootstrap script to install the Docker container runtime to an Ubuntu node and start an Nginx container. So let's run metal device create. And we'll add dash dash help because at the top of this, we have examples of how to create our first device. We know that we need dash P with a project ID. So let's drop that in. Next, we're going to provide the plan. We decided after checking availability to go with a C3 medium x86. We then need to provide the metro, in which case we're going with London. The operating system from the list that we got earlier, we're going to go with 2204, Ubuntu, that is. And we can even give our server a host name. Let's just call this demo one. Now we could provision this like so. And that will spin up a vanilla Ubuntu instance. But actually, what we want to do is run our user data script. And that's as simple as adding one more flag of user data file, and I'm providing the name of the user data file, like so. So now we have two devices in a provisioning state. At least, I think we do. Let's run metal device list, remembering our project ID. We can see here the state is provisioning. So let's use some movie magic and come back in just a moment. So now that we've given them a few minutes to provision, we can run and get a device list one more time. Now we're looking for the IP address of these devices. So to get that, we have to output as JSON and then use JQ to filter it or just grep if you know what you're looking for. I know that the IP prefix for my Metro is 145. Now we can see a couple of IP addresses for devices. So let's curl either HTTP 145-40-113, and we've got two addresses, 185 and 187. Let's assume these are provisioned in order and that 185 isn't going to connect. If we try that again with 187, we get our Nginx welcome page. This means that our user data successfully ran on our machine and provisioned our Nginx container. So there you have it. That is working with Equinix Metal with the Metal CLI. And that's it for now. Be sure to check out more Equinix Metal demos. We'll see you next time.